How to Muppet Like You Past Selection. So at the end of the last episode, we sent out a caravan with a lot of our goods around the base, which lowered our wealth from 48k down to a more manageable 27k. But when that caravan gets back to our base, our wealth is going to skyrocket back up to possibly even above 50k because we have new colonists now. What do these numbers mean exactly? Well, they mean that we need to set up a good defense. And we're going to make a very basic choke point where we can just funnel all the raiders into it. And we're going to build off of that. Currently, all we have to build with is wood. But in this tome over here, there's a bunch of materials that we can get from deconstructing a lot of these walls and stuff and we also took all the sculptures out of it and we're putting them in our prisoner cell which is increasing the beauty of that room up to mediocre we could actually clean that thing and it would probably be getting closer in impressiveness to our barracks which is slightly impressive it's slightly impressive yeah someone peed on the ground so that's why it was so low it's actually almost as somewhat impressive we just need one more impressiveness and it'll be there and it's important to get our prisoner cell impressiveness up because it's easier to recruit these guys we don't much social to recruit these guys we're only getting 0.5 resist down when Clacken talks to them due to his social being not so good meanwhile on the world map we're going to split up our caravan and we're going to send our new cat girl mute home and she's a cat girl that cannot hear or talk due to her being a trauma savant. So White and Tobo along with all of our trade goods made it down to Green Galvega and they're a tribal colony they only have a thousand silver we're gonna buy all that out and with that our trade caravan is gonna press on to Clifos at the Cove a settler's faction which is a bit more advanced. Unfortunately the settler faction doesn't really have anything we want but we will sell them off more stuff and buy all their silver and they're now gonna head over to Arbrad which is a friendly spider colony and they're actually pretty advanced. We got a mech cluster in the west corner of the map. It's a sun blocker that's gonna initiate in 3.7 days. We have four days to decide what we're gonna do and we might get raided and the raiders might take it out for us though. So we're just gonna leave it for now. So our caravan hit the spider colony. They didn't have anything we needed, but over at this, I believe, spacer colony of Ernest, they have a couple really nice helmets like this shadow wing recon power armor helmet. Not only gives a good amount of protection to the head, but increases general labor speed by 15%, which applies to stuff like making stone blocks, which we're gonna need to do pretty soon. And they also have a diplomat power armor helmet, which actually gives more protection to the head and increases global learning rate, negotiation ability, and social impact, which is going to be helpful for recruiting prisoners. And we currently have three that we need to recruit. So we're going to grab that as well. We're going to sell them off as gold. Pretty much everything that we have actually in order to afford these medical skill trainers. There's two of them and they're 960 each. And we actually can't afford them if we sell off this magic dust plus a good amount of our agave fruit and that's going to be enough. Another mech cluster, huh? This one has an auto mortar that's going to initiate in 14 days. So we're going to have a lot of time for this one. There is also a bullish shield protecting it. This one's not in the worst spot though. And when raiders attack from either the east or the west, they're going to have to run pretty much through it. So yeah, that actually might end up helping us out more than it hurts us. Oh, we got a prison break. All of our prisoners are going to try to escape, I guess. We're going to get clacking over here and just beat these guys down. He's got a wooden club. And he's got a good amount of melee. They actually are bleeding, completely destroying mags. Clacken cut out his left eye. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> That's really bad too, because he's a good shooter. Well, we're going to have to get him a bionic eye of some sort. Oh, this guy's attacking our muffalo. That's what we want. The muffalo should be able to beat down Mallard, maybe. And then over here, we got Chewie, who grabs some smoke grenades, and she's now tossing them at people. We're going to have Lobster beat her down. Lobster does have riot armor, and that's really good blunt protection so it should be completely fine we knocked out chewy we're gonna capture her we're actually gonna knock out mags too this guy just needs a beat down there we go we knocked him out as well well we're gonna capture both of them and note to self do not have clack on melee the prisoners when they try to escape next time how does mallard doing her right index finger was destroyed by rubio that wasn't us i don't think and oh, mallard destroyed muffalo's three front right hoof so it's gonna be moving a lot slower well it looks like when we run out of meat we'll be butchering up muffalo three for some extra meat Ooh, and we're getting sieged by the arachnid colony, which may in fact not be the worst thing ever, as they are bringing us mortars potentially. So the idea here is we want to let them complete building the mortars because we don't have the tech to build them. But once they do, we're going to have Doomguy come over here and attack them. And yep, they're done. Let's see the range on these guys. So the circles is their range. And wow, we tagged Peyton and did not do damage to him. Tag Peyton again. And crap, they're already sending mortars at us. This is not good. Potentially. Don't hit our prisoner. Okay, a few. Actually, only hit our bathroom. People are going to be pooping and peeing outside for a little bit, but that's okay. Mortars are just really inaccurate, and they could have hit really anywhere, but yeah. We're going to now shoot at Mari. We tagged Mari a couple times. And by the way, our goat got burned to death, I guess. It's unfortunate. We knocked out Mari, though, which is good. One down already, and a bullet shield down as well. That's a really good start. And we just... 
kind of unfortunate actually because we can't shoot inside that bullet shield now. They're gonna fire more mortars, which is not what we want. Crap. And they're gonna be hitting. Oh, this is bad. It looks like they're gonna. They. Oh! They hit freaking Crypto Sleep caskets. Like, I heard the animation go. You can hear, like, insects duking it out in there. I don't know which tome it was that opened, though, which is the only thing. And this does kind of suck because we can't attack the guys that are piloting the mortars, shooting the mortars at us. But, I mean, we already knocked out one. I think we have to knock out, like, maybe one more and they'll start charging at us and stop bombarding us with mortars. They're also using our shells, which we could use for... Oh, no. And here comes two more. Oh, yep, they're finally assaulting, but not after... Or not before they got off a couple mortar shots. That one did nothing. And this other one... Hit inside the tome, I think. I hear like people fighting in there. I'm pretty sure it's this tome. Oh yeah, we can see like there's a little unconscious symbol over here. Right, we're gonna have Doom Guy open up this wall and go. Okay, yep. This is just chaos. I have no idea what's going on in here. The mechs, I don't think we're even woken up. There's something that was weird because these pikemen were just wandering when we opened the door. But yeah, we're gonna let these ancients duke it out with these mechs and then the arachnids are hopefully gonna participate in this fight. And we're gonna defend our main choke point area. And Doomguy actually got tagged by Sander already. Let me headshot Sander, very nice. These arachnids are a bit stronger than normal colonists. Okay, Doom Guy got tagged again, and we knocked out Sandra though. She does have Mind Twist, which just removes Psychic Sensitivity, I guess. Not the greatest implant. But yeah, it looks like they're all just fighting with the mechs and stuff, so that's good. Or I guess a few of them are coming to our main choke point. Um, we got Klaxon over here, and he's going to drop some smoke. It's going to give us a little bit of more evasion. Just make them harder, and just make us harder to hit. And Panda does have a sawed-off shotgun, though. She's coming in hot. This is, could be bad for us. We'll have Doom Guy just focus her down. And oh, I forgot to have Mute took her assault rifle. Um, so now she has it, and she's gonna be actually hitting people. And these guys are stealing what they can, and they're leaving. So yeah, they're gonna start running now. We gotta actually run them down. Let's kill Panda with Doom Guy first, and then I'll have Mute over here because I don't want Mute to get tagged by Panda's sawed-off shotgun. Or I guess she's coming back. She's doing a little fake. Oh. And you got headshot. That's not what I wanted. Panda. You got Panda. There we go. Okay, they're fleeing now. They're not even gonna steal anything. Or Cordy is, but then like Sakura's not. Sakura's going in. And so is Lexi. And we're gonna have Doom Guy come out here and kind of run these guys down a little bit. Someone chopping at our door or something. Yeah, Sakura's knocking at our door. Holy crap. But she has no ranged weapon, she just has a steel spear. Okay. That's fine. She's just sitting here just tanking. Okay, there we go. She had a charge pistol, I don't know what happened to it. I think when she got into melee, she pulled out her spear and then just could not re equip the charge pistol. And this is actually a good weapon. We're gonna have Doom Guy pick it up and use it as a sidearm for now. What is this boom rat doing in here? Oh, and Shade also got knocked out. Shade's got 15 in social. Is also a gun nut with a good amount of shooting. This might be someone we want to pick up. She's going to bleed out in five hours, though. We don't have a whole lot of time to save her. we got to take out these pikemen first. This charge pistol actually just does work against these things, I guess. Oh, yeah. It does so much damage against these mechs. Holy cow. It's completely getting wrecked. Like, one more round of shots. Yep. Well, already then, we just got a really good weapon to destroy mechs with. At least in shorter range. And we'll have Doom Guy capture Shade. Are there any of these guys we want to pick up? Like, Diablo. He does have, like, a flak vest and some flak pants. Lucky's also got some really nice stuff, too. And so does Ash. So, yeah, the play here is we're going to have Lobster come over here and strip all the Ancients. We're not going to try to save them. And we're also going to strip all the Arachnids. They have some nice equipment that I don't think we can wear, but we can sell off. We will also try to stabilize up Skagnetti. As she does have a synthetic liver that we can harvest from her. And we can give that to someone else that does end up losing their liver or something. And oh, okay, over here, Lexi woke up these turrets. Lexi does have a carbine too. It's an accurate one. It's a good quality. This would be a really good weapon that we'd like to have. We're really going to hope that these turrets take her out. Um, she should go down. Like These turrets shouldn't have that hard of a time hitting her. 6.4% chance only. 
surprising. Oh, nice, they finally knocked her out. So Lexi would actually make for a really good researcher and she can do combat. She's trigger happy with six shooting. She's gonna bleed out in four hours though is the only thing. I don't think we can save her. Doing so would be quite an epic save, but we can try. So we got Doom Guy over here and we need to knock out this unstable power cell. And these things, by the way, do not have much accuracy at this range. We just need to shoot at the power cell now. You guys should have good accuracy. Okay, he tagged it. And yeah, they're not hitting him at all. His power armor shield is still at 60 HP. There we go, it finally got tagged. It's now down. He doesn't have to hit this power cell that much longer though. There we go, it's blown up. And he didn't even take damage. And there we go. Both the main turrets are down now. Run up Doomguy just kind of chill back and draw aggro for Clacken, and he's gonna come over here and try to stabilize up Lexi. This would be such a cool play if we could do this. And these turrets don't have that much HP. I didn't even realize. These turrets are really weak. We already killed one. And we're gonna knock out the other fairly soon, I think. Before Doomguy even gets tagged, yep, it's gonna blow up. There we go, very nice. Now, can we save Lexi? She's got one hour left. Clacken is saving her though. She's got two hours, oh, she's down to one hour. We're gonna have Doomguy come over here and help Clacken just in case she gets back up, which she's not gonna get back up actually. She's got extreme blood loss, so never mind on that. We're gonna have him just grab these weapons. Another charge pistol. Wait, we already have one, right? Yeah, that's another charge pistol. It's a normal one. A good steel hatchet, we'll grab that as well. And yeah, two hours left. So this next 10 should bring it up. She's got two hours. She's really got a lot of blood loss. But yeah, she's only got two more wounds. And yep, now she's got four hours and she's definitely gonna survive. Well, Doom Guy did a lot of work there. He's really not in a good mood now though. His rest and recreation are all really low and like his hygiene and bladder as well. And like his comfort's at a zero basically. Let's see if you can not have a mental breakdown here. That'd be awesome. Cause we could get raided right afterwards. Like the Void Storyteller does not mess around. And now he's gonna rest, which is gonna boost his comfort. It looks like he's not gonna mental breakdown, which is awesome. You know, I didn't even see this, but one of the ancients Lucky has to this shadow runner as a lung and that's a really good implant and yeah we're gonna rescue lucky tend him up and we're gonna extract that lung but yeah after that whole fiasco on day 20 our wealth boosted up to 74k we did load up a lot of those goods though on a caravan and our wealth went back down to 54 our caravan with lobster and white made it over to royalty which is another really high-tech faction and those guys didn't actually have anything we're gonna head down to dryden which is not that far because it's on the road Oh, we got another mech cluster, which is pretty close to where the sun blocker is. I really should have destroyed the sun blocker, and I was going to, but I just kind of forgot about it. I think we can have someone come over here and take it out, though, and I don't think we should wake up these mechs. And these guys are going to initiate in 4.3 days. Well, at least the auto mortar is. That should probably wake up the rest of these guys, I'm guessing. I did forget, though, we have these steel mortars over here, and we have a bunch of materials, like these packaged survival meals. And we only have two high explosive shells, actually. Six incendiaries plus two over here, which incendiaries don't do much damage to mechs, so we're gonna really have to get good luck with these high explosive shells. But yeah, we will uninstall these mortars and bring them into our base as well as all these other goods. And yeah, we got Doom Guy over here with this charge pistol, and yeah, these mechs don't care that we're attacking their sun blocker because I don't think these mech clusters are linked to each other, they're completely different mech clusters. So we made it down to this other colony, and they had this neon weapon, which I'm not sure if this is OP or not. We can afford it, it's 5k. But yeah, it fires a ton of grenades and they instantly explode and like they do pretty good damage to these mechs. I'm just not sure about the balance of this thing and I don't really like using custom weapons for the most part because yeah, I don't know. Does that seem OP? I mean, the thing is the market value of it's 5.5k so I do feel like the market value is somewhat accurate. Don't get me started on chicken pluckers. Market value for his doom weapons. But yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Okay, I think I'm gonna hold off on the match shadow disc for now, and I wanna see what you guys think about it. I fire 16 grenades and they do 16 damage each. That seems a little bit strong. Comparative to other similar style weapons in the game, I feel like it's way stronger than them, so yeah. These guys do have a bioengineering incubator though, and with this, we can actually manufacture our own insects. We just need the genomes for it. We also need a research electricity, which we are in the process of doing. These guys do also have a shield belt, which we will pick up for 500, and we can give that to, I think, Claxon is the dude's name. He's our melee guy. To be able to afford that, we're just going to sell off this Greater Blood Rune, which was in the Mech Tome. And with that, our caravan is going to press on towards Crow's Stronghold, the Medieval Faction. And then we got a Settler Faction up here, which could have some good stuff. Surprisingly, at the Medieval Faction, they're actually the ones that have decent high tier armor. Like, they have an Engineer Power Armor and they have a Recon Helmet, which, like, the Engineer Power Armor isn't my favorite. It increases construction speed and repair success chance, but it does offer a really good amount of protection to the chest, 108%, and then it also has a 
the shield on it too, which people can fire out of. So yeah, I think we're gonna pick that up and we're also gonna pick up the recon helmet, which gives 105% protection to the head. And that'll be a really nice gear set for, I think our cat girl. They also have a Naga shield belt, which would be really nice. It offers only a 50% shield, but people can use this with a ranged weapon. Definitely like to pick that up. We don't have enough money really or we will actually if we sell off like this flak jacket so yeah that'll give one of our ranged users a bit more survivability we can give that to doom guy i guess and with that our caravan's gonna head back home we do also have another caravan heading up to this medieval melee tournament which i wanted lobster to partake in because this tournament is a jousting tournament and it's based off a of melee and animal skill but i forgot about it and it's gonna expire soon and i was gonna send lobster over who has nine in melee and 12 in animals and he's also agile so he gets a bit extra hit chance which i think it's based on of hit chance. If that is the case though, Clackon should be really good at this as he has really high hit chance, he just has no skill in animals. And actually I would really like to win this because there's a good shield belt here. And there's three random masterwork things. Oh, he actually has an excellent shot at winning. I guess it's fine just to have a really high melee hit chance. And we lost, unfortunately, but he did get 6k melee XP. Clacken finished third out of fourth, really. Well, that was kind of an upset. We apparently had excellent odds there. I've been trying to recruit Mallard with Tobo now, and it's really not happening because... Oh, okay. Finally worked, and we now got another researcher, which is awesome. She's a nudist too, so we actually don't have to give her any gear. She actually prefers to be nude. She's also got a burning passion for medical, and I was thinking about giving her the medical neurotrainers we have, as that will boost her medical by quite a bit. And being that she's neurotic and a hard worker, she's going to tend wounds and stuff really quickly. There just are traits in the game, like skilled medic and master medic, that increase 10 quality, which are pretty good. And they also increase surgery success chance. Do we want to hold out for someone like that, and just leave her as a researcher, or do we want her to be our medic and what the heck is lucky still doing here this guy's got 10 medical this guy's just been chilling i guess okay we're gonna uninstall this bedroll is he just gonna leave yeah i think he's gonna leave this was the guy that had the shadow runner in his right lung <laughs> this guy's been sitting here for i want to say like four days mute actually has 100 percent chance to arrest him so we're gonna have her do it and the ancients are not hostile with us which i think is a new feature i'm pretty sure you were able to capture ancients before and they didn't care but yeah this guy's actually not bad he's got a great memory he's very neurotic and he's a cannibal so he'd fit right into the colony it's just that he's sickly which makes it so he gets sick quite often i don't think we want someone like that around the colony he's also misogynist too so he dislikes woman. we can't have that on the way home our caravan stopped off at air virgo and we're gonna buy out all these guys as medicine we're gonna sell off our berries that we've been foraging this kibble and this agave fruits and some extra flak pants we have and we're gonna buy as much medicine as we can 35 medicine it's gonna be quite a bit and we're gonna use that medicine on a couple of these prisoners i thought originally but skagnetti who has this synthetic liver is actually not terrible she's good at art and crafting and has a lot of really nice traits like like iron willed so she's never gonna have a mental breakdown pretty much and she's also a quick sleeper we could have her also just meditate at the anima tree pretty much full time and since she's a quick sleeper she's gonna get extra meditation time so we might try to keep her around she does have 35 resist which is actually the least amount of all these arachnids lexi has 63 and shade has 74 they are really good though like lexi is the one we saved who is trigger happy and she's got six in shooting and she's also gonna be a good researcher and then shade has eight in shooting and she's a gun nut and she's also a jogger so so she moves really quick and she's iron will so she's pretty much never gonna have a mental breakdown so yeah, we really want these guys once we get someone with higher social like chewy she'll start cutting down like three or four resists each time she talks to people so yeah that's gonna be huge we just need to get white back to base and we need to have them start building relations with mainly chewy to boost white's social impact is actually greatly disturbing him he's having a beer over it but yeah to boost his social impact we're having him wear this gray dress which increases by 20 percent now he's just contemplating life playing this game of your yeah that should help out white's interaction Lexi also does have this Valkyrie helmet, which lowers social impact. She has a lot of really good gear. We should definitely strip her of that. If there is a prison break and she's wearing all this really nice armor, that would be very bad for us. We're also not going to even try to recruit these arachnids. They have too much resist. We're only going to have White focus on recruiting Chewy, and then when she joins us, she can handle all these social interactions. And there we go. 0.8 resist is not bad. Once we get a higher opinion with Chewy, it should start getting easier. Okay, so there's a Royal Tribute Collector here, and we're going to have Mallard learn one of these medical skill trainers for a huge boost to her medical. She went from 5 to 12. And the reason why we did that is we're kind of in a hurry here to extract this Shadow Runner from Lucky. As we can dump him off to the Royal Tribute Collector, assuming that he is able to get up, 
before these guys leave because the tribute collector will take our slaves as long as they can move but yeah we're gonna hope this works it should work i think the bedroll that we're doing the surgery on is fine and the room's fine it's a 97 percent surgery success chance with that and with mallard's now 12 medical there's an 86 percent chance it would be higher but her right index finger got destroyed so she's losing a bit of manipulation but yeah we're using good medicine for this so all in all there's a really high chance of this actually working i want to say around a 90 percent chance if not a little bit higher and nice, it worked. We extracted the Shadow Runner from Lucky and he is missing a lung, but that's all right. He only needs one. We're not able to sell him off right now for some free favor. I don't think these guys are gonna stick around for long enough, but one thing I will say is this Tribute Collector is pretty geared up. We're gonna have Mute man up this Mortar and we're gonna fire at this Mech Cluster. And I think these mechs should charge us, or I'm not really sure exactly. How this is gonna work and we missed our first shot our shooting accuracy is based off of mute's intellectual and she's only got nine so yeah we're not that accurate oh apparently there was already a shell loaded in the mortar so yeah we got this shell and then one more Dude, at least just okay we woke up the max thankfully the auto mortar is not woken up though and wait yeah these guys are charging i think perfect and yeah here come the max we don't want them to kill any of these royals as when a royal dies i believe we lose relation with them so we will help them out here we're gonna drop some smoke around them and we're just gonna generally try to just be useful to them and we're just gonna try to give them some cover with this smoke well, they have a cougar apparently and it's going in there might be some free meat for us Celis over here has a mono sword. This dude's ripping up these mechs. It would actually be really nice if Celis got taken out. Assuming that thing is, yeah, it's actually not bonded to him, which would be perfect if he got taken out because he would drop it. Only thing is the mechs really didn't do any damage to these guys. I don't think any of them actually got hit. We do, however, have a centipede coming in here though, and a pikeman, so that could do some damage to these guys. Maybe we'll give them some smoke, at least the range guys. We don't care about the range guys getting taken out. And here we go. Pusa actually got completely destroyed. He dropped his HMG, which is a decent weapon. I don't know if it's going to be an upgrade for us or anything, but yeah. Um, we can still save him too. It's not like he's going to die to that, potentially. Unfortunately, Celis though is in our prisoner cell room. I don't know what he's doing in there. He's not helping these guys out, and... Osero, the person that we don't really care about, is getting injured right now. There's another mech cluster too. We could go wake that one up and have that hopefully take out Celis. Oh, their main guy got knocked out. He's a wimp though, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's a wimp because he's not even low. We're gonna have Doom Guy go try to wake up the other mech cluster and we'll rescue the rest of these guys. Pusa's actually barely bleeding. Mystica is barely bleeding too. And then so is Pacero. Or Pacero's not even bleeding. There's also this infested crash ship part that I was kind of waiting to help us with raiders, but I would really like Pacellus's weapon. So maybe we'll open that thing up. And yeah, there's a bunch of freaking insects in here. Okay, that was a bit more than I was expecting if I'm being honest. I would really like them to take out Celis though. <laughs> they're just mobbing him, I think. Yeah, they're just mobbing him. He's gonna drop that mono sword. Oh yeah, that's gonna be our mono sword, baby. Claxton is gonna get a huge upgrade here. Oh yeah, that's a 3K value item right there that we just got. And it has insane armor pen, 83% with 12 DPS, which is pretty good. The only issue with this whole thing is I think these insects might actually beat these guys which could be a problem. Like this dude's gonna bleed out in eight hours. Celis actually only has four. And eh, you know what, we'll just have Doom Guy help take on these insects. I was gonna have them help us try to like aggro the mechs with these insects, but yeah, there's not enough of them. We'll have Clacken come over here and stabilize up Celis. We should be able to save him, I think. And we did actually tend up these guys, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Pacero actually got up, he's fine. So yeah, this actually worked out pretty well. Wait, they're running right through the mech cluster, I think too. On their escape, yeah, they're going to run right through these turrets, which could be really good for us. Because the mortar is going to initiate in 12 hours. We need to actually take these guys out. So we're going to have Doom Guy run out there and use them as cover. Meanwhile, is Clacken going to be able to save Celis? Yeah, he's got five hours. Dukas has eight. And someone's throwing a party. Mallard is throwing a party. Mallard, you're supposed to be saving people. It's not time to party right now. Oh, these guys are actually really smart. Well, this guy down here, a Aspitas, is not that smart. He's going to run right through this charge turret. But the rest of these guys are using this wall as cover. I didn't even notice that. Yep, not smart, Aspetus, not smart. We're gonna head up here and use the wall as cover. And we can actually fire at this unstable power cell, which does have an AOE that could hit Doom Guy here. Maybe we'll just let these guys deal with it. You know what, if some more of them get taken out, that wouldn't actually be the worst thing. They have decent weapons and stuff. 
And they're gonna actually kill the turrets for us. Very nice. Is that it for these mechs? I think that is it for the hostile mechs. We now just need to melee down this mortar. It's really too bad that we can't deconstruct this and then have our own auto mortar. That'd be really cool. When I have ideas like that, usually there's a mod for it, but there's not one for this, which is potentially... Oh, this is not good, by the way. Run, Doomguy. There's an unstable power cell here, and it did end up hitting Paola. <laughs> And didn't end up doing any permanent damage though. But yeah, it's really unfortunate that the auto mortar blew up. We should have been able to grab that unstable power cell, but since we didn't own the mech cluster, we couldn't have grabbed it. There was also some gloom lights there that we could have grabbed. But yeah, this royal tribute collector is barely able to get out of here. This guy is going to bleed out in three hours, actually. Is he going to make it to the edge? I really hope so. Nice, he made it. That's not our problem anymore. And then the rest of these guys are actually going to make it out. Perfect. Except for Theoprax is actually going to die in three hours. I'll clack and stabilize them up. There's a bunch of really nice weapons that were dropped over here. And they aren't bio-coated, which is kind of odd. Oh, a steel pickaxe too. We actually don't have a pickaxe. That increases mining speed by 33%, which is nice. We don't have one of those yet. Oh, they actually dropped two of them. And we just got a new quest that became active. It's a mech cluster with a climate adjuster. Ah, it's going to mess with us until we send a team there to attack it. It's barely in our radius too. But yeah, it's going to give us a bit of an adjustment to our climate, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what type of adjustment. Let's also grab this mono sword too. Before Celis wakes up and just decides, you know what? I want to grab my mono sword before I leave this area. Which usually they don't do stuff like that. But yeah, Clacken now has a really good melee weapon. So that's awesome. And these guys just donated us a bunch of weapons. Oh, here we go. This is actually an awesome quest. So we got a transporter crash quest. And Thrombonians are going to attack the transporter crash, which is awesome awesome thrombonians are super powerful and we could take some of them prisoner we're definitely gonna accept this for the honor and we're gonna start getting mallard's honor level up because we do want mallard to be our royal as she's ascetic so she won't need a throne room or a nice bedroom so yeah the shuttle crashed actually pretty close to this mech cluster this thing might actually help us with the thrombos that attack we don't really need to wake it up it's gonna initiate in five days though but yeah so we're about to get raided by a thrombonian tribe and they're gonna try to take on this transport pod crash and that's gonna be happening at the start of the next episode with that i want to thank Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.